Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's huddle. We're going to be bloating this out over a couple of couple of recordings because this is so, so very important and very powerful stuff. So I want to welcome you to today's uh, overview. And I sent you the email. You guys got it. But we're going to talk about the ultimate guide to sales efficiency. You know, in the business of what we do, if you're, if we ask ourselves, what is our job as a salesperson and our job is to what that's right close deals reach and crush our quota and at the end of the day to sell right the ultimate question however is how much time do we spend actually spending time selling how much time do we spend selling every single day and statistics are wild out there with things from uh, you know, people that are out there in the field and, and it's all across the board, but there are some fundamental statistics. Now, these statistics come from a small company. They don't have a lot of people engaged with them. It's only about 260 million individuals. And so they've kind of wrapped their head around some thoughts, good, bad, or ugly, right or wrong. But I believe that they have something to say because it's a powerhouse of what it is especially what we can see in today's marketplace and statistics and i think coming from the vein of what linkedin does is a very powerful resource for all of us okay and we got to we got to take in line here really how efficient are we at what we are doing in the sales business okay and our business is what i said a second ago to close deals Quite crush our quotas and at the same time our goal overall overreaching overarching goal is to sell so over the next series of calls and recordings that I'm gonna be doing for you guys I'm gonna go through not what uh, I believe although I I'm into this I was this, this was sent to me by my dear friend John and I thought it was um, important to understand you know we're in all we're all imperfect and I'll be the first to admit it without question you know with my style my personality my 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 overthinking in some cases about some things that I'm doing not so much overthinking but just putting things in place you know there's a there's a there's a understanding that we have to really be uh, confronted sometimes with reality of what we're faced with and uh, when John shared this with me I thought it was very important that I share it with you primarily because it doesn't come from me it doesn't come from him it, it just comes from an overall stat, uh, statistic. Now, you might be well above that 35% of the people are actually doing production when it sells and you're, when you're selling and you're out there in the field and you're plowing at it and you're making it happen and you're firing at all pistons at you know, 98, uh, 80, 90, 100% of the time making it work. And then you might be in the lower tier of 5 or 10% of your true capacity. And the statistical averages say that about 35% of the day spent by most salespeople is just in their selling process. So we're really losing ground if we, if we forget about and don't recognize what is on the other side of that 70%. That's that gap that we have to fulfill. So that being said, I'm not going to go through every single thing here because it's important that First of all, I keep these simple because I need you guys to be more effective and more efficient and I want to go through some bullets. So make sure that you listen to this, go back and listen to it again uh, of these series that I'm going to go through. But more importantly, let's do something with each one of these areas. You've heard me say this before. When you go through these areas on a scale of one to ten, where might you be and what can you do to make yourself more effective, more efficient and tighten up and close that gap out? These ideas that I'm going to share with you are for some great thought leaders in the field of selling, okay? And they're not speakers, they're not coaches, they're not motivators, albeit that's probably some of the things that they do, but they're not profoundly exposed in the marketplace. So I believe from the, from, from, from the, from the ground, okay, when you really hear what other management leaders, sales leaders are doing themselves or what they are encouraging their teams to do, and getting tremendous results, 
I think it validates a lot of the things that we as coaches, trainers, and speakers do actually talk about. So um, take some notes, take some thoughts here, and I set that foundation up for you. So as I quote here, the Rain Group Center for Sales Research conducted an extreme productivity study of 2,377 sellers and professionals to find out which habits, which work habits and hacks drive true productivity. So in this work that the Rain Group did, okay, there are nine different areas of productivity or extreme uh, what they call the extremely productive habits of top sellers and professionals, okay? So for you number crazed people, okay, um, but these are important. I don't care where you are in the personality scale styles here, but uh, here's, here's some thoughts to think about, okay? Um, first of all, the, the sellers and the professionals obsess w over time, okay? They spend 46% more of their time on investment activities, if you will, think direct selling versus administrative activities per day than the rest, okay? In fact, 48% of extremely productive sellers and professionals start their day with the greatest impact activity, the greatest impact activity, okay? Whereas only 12% of everyone else does something different, okay? They say, first of all, and this is where we're gonna to lead today with the first of these many points, okay, is first of all, say no, just say no. Remember Nancy Reagan, for those of you who have some gray hair, okay, just say no. And just say no, only 31% of the people say no at work. 31%, only 31%, say no at work. Extremely productive sellers say no to unnecessary, write this down, meetings, co-worker interruptions, and accepting tasks that aren't theirs, okay, doing things for other people or things that they shouldn't be doing themselves, and thus they get out uh, one more call, one more email, one more value-added touch to their buyers, okay? So play hard to get is the point as we start this out. Just say no. And extremely productive sellers are 3.8 times more likely not to be distracted. Okay, write this down. I know they're crazy stats. I know I go ballistic on because I'm not a. I'm a. I, I look at stats, but I'm not one to to engage in them at a high level because I'm not that analytical type. But 3.8 percent more likely not to be distracted. 1.8 percent more likely to turn off alerts three and a half times more likely to signal do not disturb or in other words give off the direct message and indirect vibe that please don't bother me okay they give that energy out there why because what is their focus guys let me repeat it their focus every day in the sales job that they're in is one important thing okay one important thing and that is to sell that's their job that's the job of the greats okay they are out there thinking okay what can i do to make a sale today and let's put that in the frame of what i'm going to do a re just say no to things that are that are that, that are administrative or distractors for us so let's focus in on what that might mean to you so what are the distractors write them down and then eliminate them and what are your most productive areas what is your uh, what, what, what are the areas in your business okay if you looked at them that say okay this is a this is the a greatest impact activity in my business the highest payoff activity is doing paperwork a high payoff activity you might think so because it's going to close a deal but you can delegate that out because that's twenty to thirty dollar an hour work when really you're worth five hundred, three hundred, a thousand dollars or more per hour. And if you take the five hundred minus the twenty that leaves four hundred and eighty, you're actually losing by doing paperwork four hundred and eighty dollars an hour. Think about that. All right. Thanks for your time, guys, today. We'll push through these ideas and concepts, and uh, these are very, very powerful from others. 
okay? This, I'm going parap- to characterize this. This isn't just for me, but this is from all of us who want to help you to become the very best. Thanks for your time. Go make it a great day. What is your highest payoff activity today? And go do that. Talk to you later.